sporting world in Montana was shocked to learn of the death of former Montana Grizzlies standout Jesse Sims two weekends ago in an ATV accident. Sims, a Bitterroot Valley product, had an impact that was felt just as much on the field as off it. Clayton Curley remembers his first day of practice with Jesse Sims well. A second-year head coach at Corvallis High School at the time, Curley had gotten Sims as a transfer from Stevensville, a senior and highly touted recruit and bruiser of a football player. Everyone knew who he was, and when we got him, it was it was awesome. It was almost like a Greek god, you know, walked on the field. That's what he looked like, you know. You know, his physique was great and everything, but up here, his mentality was awesome. He was a role model for everyone, and when people are around him, they worked harder. Sims would go on to play a number of positions on both sides of the ball for Curley and the Blue Devils in his lone football season at the school. But to Curley, Sims was more than just a great football player and freak athlete. Jesse's that person that I want my kid to be like. I mean, he's big, he's strong, he's athletic, but not only that, he produces off the field. He's perfect in the community. He was a great kid in the classroom, and he was probably one of the best student athletes that I've seen come around this area. While Sims' work in his community on and off the field was well known, it was here at Washington Grizzly Stadium where he became a household name for Grizz fans across the state and the country as a four-year starter and eventually the recipient of the legacy number 37 jersey. Passed down from Montana-grown Grizz standout to another, Malta native Tucker Shy knew Sims exemplified Grizz football as good as anyone and in 2018 gave him the legacy jersey at the spring game. I'm just glad I picked him and not because of all these events but because because he earned it and um, I guess just for me it, it, as I thought it over that spring the choice just became clearer and clearer in my mind. He was certainly the right choice. Shy added that Sims unselfishness was on full display when he was tasked with a position switch in college which stood out to him among a number of other things about Sims. I was very privileged and very blessed to um, have called him a teammate, a friend, and a brother. How lucky we were to have a guy like him in our lives. I can't speak highly enough of him. Ask former teammate and roommate Cy Sermon, and he says Sims' impact as a person will stretch far and wide for many years to come. I just, I just hope that when people think of Jesse, they don't just think of the athlete that he was. He was truly a special person uh, inside and out. He'd, he'd do anything for you. He was the most loyal dude. He was happy with the simplest things in life. I mean, he just wanted to get outside, spend time with his fiance, spend time with his friends every now and then. I'm really going to miss him, and I hope that Missoula remembers him more so for his heart than his muscle because he was the biggest heart I ever met. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.